Hi Debbie, they was just gonna make this video just a short one for you because I'm actually grooming his ears right now. Um, I think you were talking about this area where the fold is and how you trim like right along here. What I do is I actually just flatten the skin out as flat as I can. That way the skin is totally flush on the skull so that when I'm pulling, and I'm pulling very very few hairs at a time, I think the problem is when we try to pull a bit too much at one go, that's when it hurts her. And that's my guess. So if I'm working on this side, I just I actually should be sitting on this side, but I'm actually just pulling on the back of the, the ear right here and the hair is actually growing this way, which is why I'm standing on this side while I'm sitting down right now. And I just flatten the skin out basically like this. I just pull the ear flat against the skull and then I just straighten out the, the skin with my fingers and mix it just that small little area right here and I and I just pull what I can from that one particular area if that makes sense. Just like so. And I notice that the more often you pull the easier the hair comes out. So the issue is when you start getting, when you let the ears go too long, the hair starts, the, how should I say, the life cycle of the hair changes and it makes it harder to pull. When you do the ears pretty often, you are basically conditioning the life cycle to get shorter and shorter and shorter. So that makes the hair easier to pull out each time. So you're actually making your life harder by going long periods between not stripping the ears. But if you if you strip it often enough, then you actually avoid that problem. So I'm going to just change my position. Whereas for the very tip of the ear, I think that was what you were asking me about in the earlier message. And what I do is I'm basically putting my forefinger in here, the rest of my three fingers on the back. Um, supporting the, the skull and the ear and then I'm kind of pushing with my third finger um, pulling the skin kind of backwards and then my thumb I just hold the ear um, you hold the ear leather taut and use my um, other side and I'm just basically very lightly pulling so you see it's actually coming out and like I said, the more often you pull this, the easier the hair is going to come out because you are dictating the life cycle of the hair. Hi Raja. Hello Raja. Later. So sometimes I end up using my Greyhound, the extra fine ear knife. Or I'm also using my skipper stripper. And I tend to end up using the back end of the curved side for the edges around here. Because it helps to grip really well. Stop. Stop. Just relax. You're okay. I gotcha. That's good. Good. Just relax. Just relax. Good. And I'm not using any ear hair right now, but to help you, you could use ear hair. You'll make the hair come out a lot faster because it'll give you a lot more grip. But I've been pretty conscientious about rolling the hair on his ear as well. It makes it easier to come out. You see? Another way is to hold the entire ear on the back with your four fingers and just support the ear. And you basically, you, you might notice that you can actually rotate the skin with your other fingers. But if you pull it back so that the skin doesn't move as much, it helps. Hopefully that helps you. If it was the inner side of the ear leather that you were having trouble with, 
I normally just pull the ear back like this and expose this side and flatten it as much as I can to the skull and keep the skin taut like this and then I pull just like so if it's right on the edge between the inside and the outer ear leather I hold the skin with my fingers pretty taut right at the edge just like that and then I pull it's possible for me to roll the ear leather with my thumb and my forefinger and pull it such that I roll it around so that I have that area where I'm pulling very very taut basically the gist of it is to keep the skin where you're pulling as taut as you can to help with reducing the discomfort for the dog and hopefully that helps so I just go if I need to go along the edge I just pull it pretty firmly between my two fingers and pull only a few hairs at a time you can use chalk as well I use chalk here on the tip which is why you see there's a white powder residue there it helps so I'm just pulling very little at a time and go slowly in this area if you know that she's giving you a headache on that just pull very little at a time 